Okay, we're on. Are we on? Yes. We're on? Okay. So, uh, this is going to be, I'm going to make a few very short videos, maybe three, like five, seven minutes long each. Okay? The first one, I'll, I'll make one on each hint I give. How's that? Is that good? I'll make hints. Yeah? Okay, the first one, and I'm going to repeat myself uh, so that uh, we get these on record. Understood? Okay, the first hint is you have to be able to um, name, uh, you have to be able to name hydrates. And you have to be able to write the formula for hydrate. So let's do naming a hydrate from the formula and then writing a formula from the name. Clear? We'll do one of each. Clear? And that'll be review number one. Clear? Okay. Let's take, uh, let's make something up. Anybody want to throw one out to me? Just make it up. It doesn't matter. Just make it up. It doesn't have to be real. Carbon pentahydrate. No. That wouldn't be one, carbon pentahydrate. I like the pentahydrate part, that's pretty cool. But that's not correct. Anybody want to just throw one out? Just throw one out, just blah. You want me to just make one up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's make up a weird one. Manganese five pyro Phosphates, that doesn't work very well. Manganese 4 pyrophosphate heptahydrate. You don't need that. Heptahydrate. Is that on the, completely on the screen? No, not really. All right, almost. Okay. So shall we write that again, and we'll write that on the screen, make it look good? We're going to say... Manganese 5 pyro phosphate heptahydrate. Okay. Is that on the screen? Is that on? Not really? Almost. Okay, that's good. Now it's centered. Okay, good. Now, and we'll erase the one on top of that. Okay. Alright. Manganese 5 pyrophosphate heptahydrate. Okay? Now, um, so, um, okay? Yes? All right, so what's the charge of manganese? How do I, how do I start this? Kind of like chapter nine. How do I start this? Professor's here. How do I start this? Anybody? That's a common mistake. The pitcher for the baseball team, TJ, says MG. Does anybody have a periodic table? Martha, you're shaking your head. So in other words, you're being quiet and you're not participating. What's manganese? What's the symbol for manganese? MN. So you didn't want to tell us that? You were going to keep that a secret and see if everybody, watch everybody struggle? Yeah, you want to be like a bug on a wall? Excellent. I, I, get, I get your type. Okay, good. Okay, Martha, the evil person, excellent. Well done, Martha. I like that. Okay, so MN. Okay? That's a common mistake. TJ? That's a common mistake. Yeah, that's okay. No, no, we don't have to apologize. That's okay. We, we accept that. MN, and what's the charge of the MN? Fatima. Five. Fatima's kind of like at a, she's kind of like at an auction, you know, she gives this, you know, she goes to the, okay, she went, like that. You ready? I like that. Very cool. Very subtle. Excellent. Okay. So, and then what's pyrophosphate? Does anybody bother to look it up or does anybody remember it? Or I would call it a next to common. It's not necessarily a common, but teachers love to use it because it's so ugly looking. It's, it's, it's pretty um, 
hairy looking. Yeah, it's not a pretty one. Anybody know what it is in the charge? Anybody? What, so what's the formula though? Who said that? Fatima with the subtle, excellent. And all right, so together you're a great team. And then what's about hepta? What's hepta? Seven. So you put dots. The dot means it's a hydrate. And then seven H2O. What do I do with this? I got to use shimashima brida. Because you see, because they're they're not reducible, right? Like either an odd and an even, or two odds. Yes, an odd or an even, or two odds. You can go like this. So you'd say MN four P two O seven five. 7H2O. Who knows if it's true? I mean, gosh, manganese 5. I invite anybody who actually watches this video, other than my students, to look it up and to tell me. And, and I'll get a hit. I'll get people to do that, saying, yes, it exists. No, it doesn't. They will. It's amazing, really. I get hits from all over the world. It's like, why, why am I? I'm not that interesting. People have to get out more. I think the world is in desperate need of some form of entertainment because if they're watching my videos, That's not a real thing. it's just bizarre. It's not, it's not real. All right, TJ the pitcher says it's not real from his vast experience from working in industry. Yeah, yeah, thanks, TJ. I'm going to really pay attention to what you got to say. Did you look it up or something? Yeah. You did? did what does it say? You looked it up? You actually looked it up? What does it say? There's nothing on the web. Oh, because there's nothing on the web. It doesn't exist. Um, a child of the 21st century. What year were you born? 99. 99. Up. Oh, he's not a child of the 21st century. Okay. So, anybody else? No? Okay. All right. So, anyway. You get it? Yes or no? Yeah? You all right with that? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So... Now, let's go the opposite way. All right, let's go the opposite way. Let's say, let's say, um, I'll give you one. I'll give you a, I'll, we'll make it simple. We won't go crazy. We won't go crazy. I'll just give you a simple guy. Shall I just do it simple? All right, iron. Sorry, I'm even telling you. Uh, well, let's not do that one because I already told you. Let's do this one. All right, name that. Name that too. All right, cobalt is a good start. Who said that? All right, excellent. All right, excellent. Excellent. Argentina, right? Argentina is on the scoreboard. Okay, excellent. Cobalt. What's the charge of the cobalt? Does it have a charge? He's like holding up four fingers, like he's trying to imitate Fatima. All right, but what's the charge of the phosphate? Um, Negative four? Yeah, no. Nah. Plus, and Fatima's losing it. Let's, let's go to, let's go to simply, we call her Miss, Chem Miss Chemistry. Yes, Martha? Negative three. Negative three, okay. So it's negative three. There's only one of these. This has to be positive three, right? The whole thing. Yeah. But there's only one cobalt, so each cobalt must be positive three, right? Not four. You get that? You just you don't get that. You don't get that. Are you saying that you don't understand what I just did? You are. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So let's break them down into the positive and the negative component. Okay. Do you understand, Fatima, that the positive and the negative components are equal magnitude? In other words, they're equal and opposite. Do you understand that? Yes or no? Okay. Do you understand that there's only one cobalt written there and there's only one phosphate written there? Do you understand that? Yes. 
Okay, good. Now, I'm going to tell you by definition because you should know phosphate. I apologize, but you're being a scoundrel. You really are. I mean, you're one of my best students, and you don't know, after all this time, the formula and the charge of phosphate. That's a, that's a rotten thing to do. Okay? But I forgive you because you're so lovable. Okay? All right, excellent. Now, so, so I'm going to give you a definition. I can do this. Phosphate is PO4 with a negative 3 charge. Are you okay with that? By definition, no thinking, you get it. Okay, good. So this is negative 3. Right? How many phosphates are there? How many phosphates are there? One. So the whole thing is negative 3, right? So right away, by default, because it's a formula and it's written neutral, the positive component has to be, the total positive component has to be, has to be positive three. Right, very good. Now, how many cobalts are there? How many cobalts are there? One. So what's the charge on each cobalt? Plus three, right? See how it's kind of circular? Yes, do you see how I did that? That's all. So how do you, how do you write a plus three charge in a name of a compound. Roman numerals, Roman numeral three in this case. That's why it's called the Roman system. Some people call it the Roman system of nomenclature. Yes, because it has transition elements. The transition elements have more than one charge as opposed to group one, two, and 13, which have respectively plus one, plus two, plus three. You with me? Yes? Okay. So this would be cobalt three. Finish it for me. What's the name of that? Phosphate. And what's this? Hexa. 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 Very long. The names are just go on forever for hydrates. Let's make sure that's all on there. Yes, it is. Okay. I always sweep up when I write, as you've noticed. Yes, okay. Are you all right with that? Okay. All right. End of video one. Okay. Next week, I'm going to show you, and we're going to go to the planetarium. Yeah, in like either a week or two. I don't remember when this class is scheduled. All right, end of review one.